hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's episode i'm going to show you how we can create a 2d stone shockwave effect using the unity particle system so let's get started but before proceeding do check out my udemy course on particle systems if you are a beginner who wants to learn particle systems this course is perfect for you it will take you from a beginner to intermediate level in particle systems you don't have to learn any external software to create these amazing effects Every effect is made using Unity's particle system. By the end of this course, you will be confident enough to make amazing visuals for your games. The link is in the description below. Start by creating a new particle system and rename it to Stone Shockwave underscore particle system and reset its transform. After that, set the max particle size to 3. And then I have this rock texture I am importing into unity okay now we create a material and rename it to rock underscore mat drag and drop this stone into albedo and change its sex shader to sprites and default okay now drag and drop it here okay change the x rotation to minus 90 speed is a bit too fast but no worry we'll have a look at that now set the duration to 3 and uh, uncheck looping start lifetime to 0.8 and start speed to random between two constants and the values are 10 and 12 check 3d such size and random between two constants and the values will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 1 and 0 0.6 0 0.6 okay Set the start rotation to random between two constants between minus 360 to plus 360. Then we have a grayish color. Set the gravity modifier to 2 and set the emission to a burst of 5. Then we have a shape of cone and uh, set the angle to 3 radius will be 0 0.3 then check color over lifetime set this one to this then we have size over lifetime and uh, we'll make a curve like this one add a keyframe here drag it here and drag this one down good then we have rotation over lifetime set random between two constants minus 180 to 180 and restart it and you can see that uh, I think the background is a bit grayish. Let's see in the game view. Bring the camera a little bit closer. Just like this one. Yes. This is how your stones will look. But we have to do something else, and that is duplicate it to make our ripple effect and bring this one here a little bit here duplicate it again bring this one here and duplicate it again and bring this one here and add a little bit delay to this one of 0 0.1 second this one to 0 0.2 second and this one to 0 0.3 second okay now make this one a child of this and restart it I think I should increase the delay this one to 0 
this one to 0 0.4 and this one to 0 0.6 so that it should give us shockwave effect I'll restart it and this is how it looks let's play with the delay again 0 0.5 1 and 1.5 now restart it now it's moving like a wave change the color of the camera and now this is how our shock wave will look so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos we will see you in a new video goodbye